about how like hateful all of these people, all of these like so-called super ultra conservative Christians like this man are, how hateful they are. You need I don't to look in the mirror. In what world calling a child a demon is even appropriate? Oh, for crying. Oh my God. Here we go. Here comes the lying bullshit. I knew she was going to make it about her son just to get out of what she did to Jessa. Can go after you are sick. Vulnerable people in the world. Like, why would you target a child with autism? Why would you? Oh my God. She is deplorable. Why would you bully a child that way? And why would you think it's okay to make those kinds of comments with two million people on a platform? This is what she does, you guys. She got shit for what she did to Jessa. All these people eating up what you're saying. Now she's got to make it look like she's being attacked and her son's being attacked. You're talking about <laughs> that are real people that didn't ask to. You were disgusting. And didn't ask to be born with autism, and they didn't ask for that, and then to call them. A, demonic and evil it's just so sick to me no like, what's sick is the wise that you're is telling easy. right now like, everyone hates i hate that people with autism are treated so poorly and are so misunderstood and she's trying so hard to cry chastised and cast wow. out and made to feel like nobody can understand them or that they're not worthy or that they're not it's just so painful for them, for them. And it's so painful for their parents. Like all these kids want is friends. Holy all they crap. Want is acceptance. She only has 430 in love. here. And then that stuff is put out into the world and it's like. She can't cry. How could you even talk like that about a kid? How could you lie about I'm sorry, it? I'm so emotional. It just bothers me. I want to see the proof because I know there isn't any. And she lies mom. so goddamn much. Everybody called this. I can't understand Everybody. how a Christian would speak about someone that way. I thought that, like, Christians were supposed to be loving and kind and, like, do what Jesus wanted. And I didn't realize that. You don't that even believe in Christians. You don't even believe in God. So what are you talking about? That a child with a disability is a demon. And evil. All that does is further stigmatizes an already extremely misunderstood diagnosis and misrepresented in the public. All that does is further stereotype these kids as misfits and I want to see the proof and bad kids. Because I can't see, nobody would call the demonic. They have a disability. Their brains are not the same. They're neurodivergent. But then again, she did say her son could be a serial killer. But that's okay, right? They don't know how to process things. He could be manipulated to kill because he has autism is what she said. You wouldn't. It's just so ableist (laughs) to say that more faith and more uh, believing more in God would somehow make this demon kid out of this child. Why would you call a child with autism demonic? What What about a child? Hey, you've with said autism that like a demonic? million times. What is it? Turn because the comments they don't on. Sit perfectly on your blanket when you're hitting them, and they try to move off the blanket when you're spanking them. Are you going to just beat them more? Are you kidding I'm sure me? In these cultures and in these worlds, it's the kids that have the disabilities that are getting beat up the most. How does this go from someone calling her kid demonic to to him being beat? They have no grace for children that have needs. None. I am so fed up with her. And it just drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. And I don't bring up my son because it's his business and it's his life and it's his privacy. But, like, dude... But yeah, you plan on putting him as a, in a conservatorship, and I've said Someone that for needs years. To speak up for these kids. Are you kidding me? Hypocrite. It's not fair how they're treated. It's not fair how insurance companies are 
like treat kids with autism. It's not fair how kids with chronic illness are treated. Now it's the company's by... fault. <laughs> oh man. Parents of kids like this feel so damn helpless because we want to help our kids. And at every roadblock, there's so many roadblocks thrown up in front of us every single day. We fight with insurance companies. We are constantly trying to get our kids accommodated in class. We have Their to kid doesn't even go to school and hasn't in years. Arguments with teachers to make sure that are services kidding? are met and, and dealing with people trying to cut corners and, and educators not trying, like basically giving us the bottom of the barrel education because they just don't have the bandwidth or the understanding or the care or concern to help. Like that's what we face. This is ridiculous. We're tired. We're tired of being told that our kids are bad. We're tired of being told that like we don't have, like it just makes us feel like our kids are invisible. She you does this every time. That's why I don't believe so it. You don't have to deal with us. And that's not fair. Why can't I put you on? Oh, great. Here voice comes all the love. Your voice and your ignorance. Oh, I just had to get that off my chest. It mm -hmm. bothers me. I hate people like that. I don't like crying. I don't cry very much. And I can't stop today. don't understand why people are so mean to people with autism. It just bothers me so much. It doesn't matter if they're Christians. She doesn't like Christians. She doesn't like any faith. Remember, she's an atheist. The system is so broken. I couldn't watch it. It makes me sick. So I don't even know. I don't really well, know. I'm what sure, Maria, about. you know what I'm talking about. Really? The hell did Maria ever do to you? <laughs> I know. Like, these kids with autism are the sweetest children you'll ever meet. Like, I hate how society acts like they're like horrible and they're mean and they're cruel and like they're not affectionate. The biggest stereotype about these kids is that they don't know how to have relationships and they don't know how to attach and they don't know how to be affectionate and that's not true. You said your kid like, would be a my serial son is killer. So affectionate. He is like <laughs> Oh my god. Always wants hugs and always wants kisses and he's not like he craves emotional connection. Like, people think that these kids just don't. I can't with her. I don't know what the hell, who she was yelling at. I didn't see it. Hey, Terry. How about you just keep your Holy opinions fuck. to yourself and let me vent without making this about you? <laughs> and how about you just like listen without getting defensive and saying things oh like, uh, she said children are born perfect mouth the bus. and then she's re she replied what children do with you terry are you kidding you could have just said i understand like where did i throw an entire profession under the bus i'm sharing my okay, frustrations God, people are so insensitive and make everything about themselves. Like that's the another the other thing that drives me crazy about online. You can't uh, even share this isn't her without people being so selfish. I'm sorry that's hurtful, but don't throw an entire profession under the bus. My nephew has autism and I teach an advocate for my special needs kiddos. Sharing their frustration. Yeah, I when forgot that I don't like talk in the like comments. People don't want to open up. Why would I share anymore if I can't even honestly express how I feel sometimes where this is how I'm feeling. See, even this one says she's not getting defensive. She's <laughs> relating and not oh telling God. someone that um, you're a for, you're you're a terrible person and you're throwing all the teachers under See, the bus. Even this one's like, like she never said you were a terrible person. Teachers out there. I'm glad people are saying stuff because you can't keep attacking people. 
and it doesn't change the fact that, oh, you have a nephew that's autistic, great. Like, you aren't living this life every day. You're not a parent of a child with special needs. You don't get it. It's, like, so easy to seriously, Oh, my God, like, another one. Tur- Katie, turn Katie. Ka- oh, turn Katie off. And think that you can relate because you can't. You're not living the life. You're not. I forgot. Whatever happens, you if you broke your arm, it doesn't matter. She broke hers worse, the guys. insurance companies. You're not dealing with the advocacy that's nonstop, 100% all day. Again, this is a person who said her son could commit murder and would be a serial killer. (laughs) No, I spent all day on the phone with the insurance company. Oh, they they probably cut her off because she's making money, man. All day on the phone with the insurance company. You don't need the money. You have it. And um, until... And she even said she's living beyond her means. 100% of everything my son did. Because I was... uh, Both of us were working. And I took care of everything. Whatever. Blockity block. His, her husband's in there. She's so selfish that she had to, like, literally have a temper tantrum. Who? And lots of teachers do understand kids with autism. Absolutely. Like, I understand that there's amazing teachers out there, but there's also not amazing teachers out there. But your kid's not even in school and hasn't been in years, so what the fuck are you talking about? What does it matter if I make a joke calling child's uh, crotch brutes? That's a joke. Oh, That's yeah. That's not, like, being serious. You're completely serious. And I didn't serious. call them disease and you made sure. riddles crotch fruit. You're just adding the disease-ridden part. I said crotch fruit. Which is literally a joke. No, you said like that goblin. Josh and Anna like Duggar have diseased crotch fruit. Yes, joke. you did. Take your Karen ass. She doesn't talk about V unless it serves her. See? Thank you, Mercy. I'm not the only one. I'm glad. Keep calling her out, people. Bye, Chelsea. You're psycho, too. Oh, for fuck's sake. What'd Chelsea do? Say hi? See? A joke? I don't get it. I didn't call it a disease-ridden crotch. Yes, you like, did. I really added that. I'm sorry I'm yelling, but I am done with this girl. Seat. You know, it's like I don't talk about him, and then you say I'm neglecting him, and then when I do talk about him, I'm only doing it to serve myself. And I'm not trying to serve myself. Yes, you are. <sighs> Every time you get in this shit, you bring up your son. That has been 100% proven. Every time. Every time. Disgusting. Everybody loves that boy and wants a better life for that boy. It's her that plans on locking him up in a conservative shit. She can't answer anymore. Yeah, of course she is. God forbid. You let anybody speak. Crotch Goblin is the my correct way to say it hi nina oh martha you exist just to hate people (laughs) No, you can contradict yourself because that's I'm saying the same things as these people and I'm not the only one. Like, come on. I think anyone can be compassionate to a child with autism. Unless you're in the Then why can't you be compassionate to your own son? That's all I'm trying to say. Someone asked her, Do you watch much YouTube? Oh fuck, they probably get blocked for that. Bye uppers. Nice to nice to see you. Goodbye, yuppers. Told you. You got a cat profile. You look like. Amy I fucking told you. All I said was, "Do you watch YouTube?" This is crazy. I. She's buying her subs. She has to be out of all the people. She's got to have the biggest block list on Twitter, IG, and YouTube. Oh, she said her her son has Down syndrome and autism. That reminds me of this little girl that lives in our community. She has Down syndrome. She is so cute. Uh, China doll photo. Don't say let She's them live five anymore, minutes in I'm our sure. shoes. You'll be blocked because you're Probably. talking about yourself. Well, no. But, oh, my gosh. When she was younger, she used to run around the 
our local restaurant and take everyone's order. She was so cute. Oh my God. She would just have her little notepad and take everyone's order at the restaurant. And the restaurant was so sweet to her. She had the biggest smile on her face all the time. I'd rather they not live in my shoes for five minutes. I need those. Yeah, me too. You love the crash fruits. That is so disgusting. You. Of course she's okay. She's getting attention. There, Hannah. <laughs> it's just hurtful to hear people talk about children that way that are disabled. It's not, you don't, children with autism are already like up against such obstacles. And then See, I'm wondering like, if somebody said something about so her son or, them. It's just yeah, please answer who said horrible. what about autism. I want to know too. If Jesus went to his church, he would be turning over tables. Hi, Hannah. Yeah, I'm, I'll be okay. Of course you'd answer that one. I, who the hell would hate Renell Smith? I love Renell Smith. Ray Glock said that children with autism are demonic. Oh my God. It wasn't even about her son and she's having a fit. I Anything the mom that just to get out of the shit that she's in right now. Oh, you'd hug me. I'd take a hug. I told you. Sure. I knew she'd bring up her son though. <laughs> Okay, goodbye, Sparkles. You're just trying to get me to talk about that person. What? Oh, because let me guess, it's the Renault you know comment. What the trolls do? They're so stupid. They're so obvious. How is that a they'll fucking like, troll? And they'll show up and they'll say something super negative, and then they'll, and then two minutes later they'll come back and they'll be like, "Do you watch YouTube?" And then they'll bring up a YouTuber's name. Yeah, and people are allowed to talk. Person, and it's so dumb. And then they come back under a different fake account, and then they'll say something antagonistic. Uh oh. The family adventure like says what's going them. on. I came on and tried to figure it out and I still have no clue. Holy crap. The world's gonna end. Right now I just need my son's medication approved and it's not being approved and that's been very frustrating. It's not like she doesn't have the money to pay for it. You're, she's getting all this money from the government and she's she even said she makes beyond her means. Like come on. Give to someone who needs it, not you. <laughs> He playing a game. I can hear him. Autism is genetic. So generally, if um, one child has autism, it's not uncommon to have multiple children that have autism. It's also not uncommon for a parent to have autism or for there to be autism in, in the family. My husband and I both have ADHD and uh, we learned from a neuropsychologist that there's been some studies and work that's being do, been done lately to see the connection between ADHD and autism because so many children that have autism also have ADHD. Yeah, I don't agree and with that. Whether or not ADHD is somehow within that spectrum um, or not. So. I have ADHD too, Hannah. No, you don't. There's no way she does. She just likes to abuse the Adderall. He's been on the medication since he's been born. Well, since he's been three months old and we just changed insurance companies and it's an extremely expensive medication. It costs five fifty five thousand. dollars It costs over $60,000 a year, um, $5,500 a month. And She's got all three of them on it, her son and her husband. 
I am sorry, but someone that has ADHD doesn't fly off the handle or constantly yeah, I see a do what she overlap, does. And I also feel like ADHD is the lack of verbal, the, the impulse control, very similar. 5,500 for a 30 day supply. Can someone look that up, please? I highly doubt that. $5,000 for Adderall a month. Give me a break. Uh, you're lying. It is genetic. Literally, it's genetic. Make guess block. Autism is not caused by the environment. <clears throat> yes, $5,500 for a 30 day supply. Bull crap. I'm going to write it down so don't forget. I'm going to look that up. This medication is actually very expensive to make because it's extremely unstable. <laughs> what? And yet she's got her it's son like, on it. Did you hear that? One of the most expensive medications because of how unstable and how um... <clears throat> you get a backtrack? It's just not easy to make. It's not one of those drugs that's like marked up because they can mark it up. It's marked up because it's unstable the chemicals and whatever they use to make it it's hard to make no 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 you said it was unstable here jack <laughs> yeah really what does the medicine do because i don't think that kid has adhd at all there's nothing you can do unfortunately you love my lamp. Oh, I got it from Wayfair. You need to call your insurance and tell them that. And and if also if you contact the drug company, I'd there are many grants. The medication that it is. It's Adderall. Everybody knows it's Adderall. You moron. Um, the information that I have about the drug isn't from Big Pharma, and I don't want to call it Big Pharma because not all pharmaceutical companies are bad in fact the company that makes this specific drug is amazing to families if they can't get it approved um they actually power the drug for families and for kids because they need it all right. um we're still waiting to see if we can get the drug company to help us with that right now so no i don't like to say that all drug companies are bad because that's just not true There's some practices that I don't like, but I would say in general, I think insurance companies are worse. She doesn't need that. She even said she lives beyond her means. Like, are you kidding me? You can't get it from cost plus drugs. You, this is not a medication that you can bind on. It's just not. You can't. It's it's a special. It's a specialty drug. Like, you can't. It's, okay, Adderall, Annie. You can't get it online. Actually, you can. There's prescriptions you can get. They have to do. A, they have to do a lot of. It's not even just the research, too, but the way that the drugs are made and the ingredients that they have to use, and how long it takes for the ingredients to be ready to be put into the drug. It's just huge the amount of time it takes. What? It's not a compound drug. It's a specialty injection. That's unpredictable. Now it's an injection. Okay, so what? Now she doesn't take Adderall? You get an injection now? What the hell? We do have com compound drugs, but compound drugs are different. Autism is genetic stupidity. Yeah. Like the people that want to say autism is... Quit picking your I'm not going to answer any more questions about what the medication is because I feel like you guys are just asking questions so that you'll tell me, I'll tell you what it is, and I don't want to tell you. We already it. know. Someone please say Adderall. This medication is for not, it's for, it's a hormonal medication, but it's not, it does help his heart. It helps a lot of things. He needs it for a lot of things. Uh, 
um, essential oils are not going to help him. So um, you don't know that. <laughs> wow. Your son is yelling hi. I'm not answering questions of what the medication is for. All I'm saying is we can't get it approved. Okay. Please respect. Then don't talk about it. Someone just posted to me in my chat and they're like, right now, KJ is live. has more than autism. Oh my God. She's going to have like, a fit and hang literally up. Literally none of your business. Then All why are you bringing it up? We have a medication we're trying to get approved. It's none of your business what it's for. It's none of your business what it is. Wow. It's business. That's what I was saying. I hate how insurance dictates. The doctor says, yeah. This person's even saying in my chat, she's feeling the heat and turns on the petty mode. Pathetic. And she also said uh, that she's petty herself and she believes cults she is taking down calls her own son whom is autistic and whom she it. said is capable of becoming a killer what the medication was i simply said i couldn't get it approved and then you all wanted to know what it was and i said i don't then want don't to tell talk you about oh my god i gotta go told you i knew she was gonna leave <laughs> oh my god she is pathetic Oh my God. Why have IG? Why have a chat? Holy crap. I wonder when it's going to pop up because I just need the beginning of it. I gotta go. Okay, it's not up yet. I don't know. Does it take like a few minutes? All right, then I will go to la 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 Reddit. Oh yeah, because I wanted to show. I wanted to show you something funny. Oh, I can't remember who did this, but they did do this, and it was funny. Her mugshot. Come on. The mugshot of all mugshots. <laughs> Katie Joy is a toxer. <laughs> she looks like a piece of trash from the trailer park. I'm sorry. I feel that I have every right to make fun of her and to talk shit about her because of everything she's done to everybody else as well as myself. And she's got to be stopped. And this... <laughs> It's perfect. Fisher Price reporting to commence. We have an exclusive that we, Katie, joke. This is your daily exclusive here at the Play School Fisher Price team of we, Party of One, journalists accredited by Katie Joke. Katie Joke, the dancing clown. God. Look at the hair. Can you imagine? Oh my God. What the hell is that? That's disgusting. That live pissed me right the hell off. That's how she got a staph infection, yet she keeps freaking chewing. There's the drugs, allegedly. Oh, did you guys hear her supposedly? Um, oh my God. <clears throat> okay. How would you know this was through Kelly Blue Book unless you did it yourself? Another one of those I'm being stalked situations? Yeah, so supposedly Katie Joy got this uh, text. It says, hey, this is Donna with McClarty, Daniel, and Springdale. I know the weather's a little crazy today, but would you be able to come in today or would this be, or would this weekend be better? She says, who's this? Uh, Donna McClarty, Daniel Chrysler, Dodge Jeep Ram in Springdale. She's like, who do you think you are texting? Like, really, Katie? I was looking for Katie. 
I'm confused. Who said I was coming to look at a car? Nobody, but you submitted an inquiry that you were wanting to possibly trade or sell your Camry. So I was wanting to reach out to see when you sh could come in and get it appraised. Sorry to bother you. And she's like, I did not fill that out. Right. Right. Then she lies about this one. She says, a follower sent this to me this morning. I don't follow Katie Bates Clark. However, she was promoting a cereal brand yesterday. Magic Spoon Cereal says they are no longer working with her. And she's trying to pretend that she didn't do this like she did with Jessa. Right? Meanwhile, here's the same color that she has on her phone. Up here. Right? Look at that. And it says, Hi. I just wanted to reach out regarding your partnership with Katie Clark Bates. I'm surprised that you're working with her. Her family is racist, homophobic, and publicly mocked the murder of George Floyd. Family members supported and went to the insurrection, among other things. I urge you to look into this family before having them represent your brand. Thank you so much for sending us this message. We are no longer working with Katie. Wait, Katie? Oh, duh. Katie Clark. How much you want to make a bet she did that? She's trying to say that somebody sent it to her and they did it, not her. Oh my God, it just, she's unbelievable. But this is why she'll never get um, any sponsors because we'll all tell them, like, you want to work with this chick? Have fun with that. I just want to get the beginning and get off of here. Okay, I don't even know when the rest will pop up, but I don't know how much I got or how much I didn't get. Um, I'm not going to make you guys wait and try and take time up for if I don't got anything right now. Okay, well, I will probably be back later with a little clip of the beginning of it, okay? I hope you guys enjoy your night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.